Welcome back. The CDC says cigarette smoking is the country's leading cause of preventable death, disability, and death. But magic mushrooms may be able to change that. Yeah, and this is according to researchers at Johns Hopkins. Fox 5's Josh Rosenthal is live outside of NIH in Bethesda to explain why the federal government is putting up millions to see if they're right. If this is what comes to mind when you hear the words magic mushroom, researchers at Johns Hopkins say maybe you should be thinking about something entirely different instead. A powerful tool for altering the brain and therefore the mind. Matthew Johnson is a professor at the Hopkins School of Medicine, which was just awarded $4 million to study the potential impacts of a psychedelic compound called psilocybin. As far as they know, it's the first federal grant for psychedelic treatment research in about 50 years. Psilocybin and, and magic mushrooms can provide an experience that can be one of the most profound of someone's life. And when administered in the right way, it appears that we could leverage that towards people really making deep reflections about their life and making positive changes like quitting an addictive habit like smoking. We have heard from people advocating the use of magic mushrooms before. That includes back in 2020 when they were essentially decriminalized by DC voters. These plant and mushroom medicine really can make a very impactful change in people's lives. Still, Johnson is clear the use of psychedelics does come with some degree of risk. Yes, there are risks to psychedelics, but we know a lot about what those risks are and we can do some very concrete things, I think, to squarely address them. <laughs> Johnson added that he hopes to have the study up and running in the next couple of months. And he said it's going to build on prior, what he called promising research, by the way, funded mostly from philanthropy, not NIH. Guys.